thank you for watching. Uh, today, I want to show you a pen which I'm saying may be the perfect pen. It's a very subjective term, and I'll discuss what I feel might put this pen into that category. You may recognize it. It's the Pilot Custom Heritage 91. The pen only comes in rhodium trim. It does come in a few other colors other than black. And the reason I have the black is because I wanted a specific nib, a soft medium, which was only available with the black version. I bought this from Minjika, who's a Japanese seller. I uh, was very pleased with the experience. I bought this pen and a Sailor Professional Gear, and along with some Aroshuku ink. So it was a very nice experience. This one took the longest. It is a special order, so it delayed shipment by a couple of weeks. But once he had uh, all the components, he shipped it out, and I'm very happy with it. So let's take a little bit closer look at this pen. As you can see, it is a nice rhodium plating, uh, pilot standards. Um, I like the interesting detail on the cap where it's they've kind of machined in a little bit. Uh, very reflective, as you can see. Uh, very classic design. <clears throat> I prefer the squared off ends versus the more typical cigar shaped pens like the Mont Blancs and the uh, Sailor 1911. I think this fits in that more nicely in the pocket and the extra ends which may add five or six millimeters to the overall length I don't think really add anything to the writing ability of the pen. And that's primarily why I purchased this pen. Um, you know, it has a classic double band, the small one and the large one, which is very nice that the large one's engraved with the name of the pen, um, in case you forget what it is. So, uh, it's always a nice touch. And it's the classic uh, pilot clip, very well made, uh, very secure. and has your classic uh, metal band at the top of the cap. Most Mostly this is because this probably unscrews in some manner in case the clip needs to be replaced or repaired. And I think they put a band at the bottom of the barrel just to match aesthetically the band at the top. I don't think there's any functional need for it. And obviously that may preclude this from being used as an eyedropper or because of the metal, but as we take a look at the insides, I think you'll understand that this would probably not suit as a <coughs> eyedropper fill. As I mentioned before, I bought this pen primarily for the nib. Uh, I'm not a fan of rhodium plating, but I didn't have a choice in this pen, so I got it with the rhodium plating. As you can see, it is a 14 karat nib, and I think that's a number five. Yeah, as the scroll work, it, it's a very, uh, you know, there's nothing wrong with the aesthetics of the nib, and the classic pilot feed, and the, uh, we'll talk about how it writes in a little bit, but uh, I did have to make a few adjustments to have it write the way I like it to write. I think uh, this metal band here is very good between the section and the barrel because that's a stress point. As you unscrew the barrel, as you notice, there's a metal section in there. I use the CON70 converter because I like to have a lot of ink. And as you can see, this is after writing for a few days. I filled it on Monday, and today is Wednesday. I've used about half the ink. I've probably written maybe five or six pages uh, of notes. Um, there's a lot of videos on how this car, uh, this converter works, and uh, I think for the pens that it fits in, I think it's a very good investment. You know, it holds about a little bit over a milliliter of ink, versus some of the other pilot converters which hold as little as uh, half a milliliter of ink. Again, the, the barrel screws right on. You could use this pen unposted. You know, it's a decent length in the hand. I think I have medium, medium to large size hands. I post very well and very securely, so if you want to post, that'll work. You know, it goes on. It gives a little bit of length to the pen, but the balance, both unposted and posted, is very well. Uh, the cap weighs about 8 grams, but um, it doesn't really change the, the balance point much. I think the section is extremely comfortable. 
you feel the threads if you're going to hold it up here, but they're certainly not objectionable, and I generally hold it in this manner. So why don't we take a look at the writing, and I'll discuss why um, I feel this pen is the perfect pen. So I think for a perfect pen, there's a couple criteria that you need, and, and for me, the number one criteria is being able to write with it for a long period of time and the, the experience to be pleasurable throughout that period of time. So consistent ink flow, holding a lot of ink also helps because uh, then you don't have to worry about running out so I can you know write for a few days and still not uh, still have sufficient ink. The second thing is I think you need a classic design. Uh, obviously the black and, and, and silver, black and rhodium is classic so it's a pen that works in every environment um, the design certainly does nothing to detract from the usability of the pen so uh, we're going to try to to write uh, past the um, tripod so this is a pilot custom heritage 91 and it's a soft medium 14k. The ink is, as mentioned, at Irishuku, uh, Murasaki Sibaku. It's in the purple family. I bought this ink when I bought the pen and cost me $15. Um, I met the minimum order and had uh, no shipping costs, so I was very happy with that. Uh, <clears throat> the key thing um, to me, I was interested in trying the soft medium. Um, I was not interested in um, acquiring a Falcon pen. I may do that at some later point in time, but I wanted a more traditional nib, and I enjoy a soft nib, and uh, many of the Japanese pens, uh, especially many of the Sailor pens, have a fairly stiff nib, and to me, I don't find a lot of pleasure in writing with a stiff nib. And most of my inexpensive pens have relatively stiff nibs, so um, if I need that experience or I want to have that type of writing or if I need it for a particular paper or ink, uh, I can always use those. So the main thing that I like about this pen, and let me readjust the paper here so I can write a little bit easier, is it's a medium point, so the general lines are medium. They're very good saturation. I would call this a wet writer. And... As you can see on the downstroke, I'm just putting a little bit of pressure on it, and it, it's about 50% wider. Um, if you increase the pressure, it spreads pretty good, and I think it approaches almost like a double wide. Occasionally, this will railroad. Now it's writing very well, but I've had times when I couldn't um, flex it that much. And it doesn't create, it doesn't require a lot of effort. In retrospect, maybe the uh, soft fine would have produced more of a line variation, but for everyday writing when you're not doing a lot of pressure, I like a darker line, which the medium uh, provides me. Um, as I mentioned in the beginning, uh, I had some issues with this pen when I first got it, and the issue was somewhat related to baby's bottom, but the nib tipping was too smooth. So on this Rhodia paper that I'm writing on the 80 gram dot pad, um, it actually kind of like writing on glass. It gave me feedback which I wasn't happy with. Um, so I did something which I haven't seen described by uh, the other uh, pen aficionados on YouTube. Is I used a fairly um, heavy grit, maybe like a 300 grit uh, emery paper. And I just did a light sanding and it really changed the pen. It was a little bit of a hard starter and it did a little bit of skipping. But since I've done that, it's been absolutely perfect. So I'm very happy with it. No matter when I pick it up and write with it, it writes constantly, consistently. And as you can hear, there's just a little bit of sound, but nothing significant. So at the end of the day, that's the Pilot Custom Heritage 91. I'm very happy with it. I've used it as a daily writer for um, over a month now, and I've added other pens now and then and when I come back to this one I'm always extremely happy and pleased uh, how it writes and uh, that brings me back to it so I got this to be a daily writer and I'm very happy that it, it works well in that regard so as usual I want to express a very big thank you 
and the end. Turning down, I'm turning in, I'm turning in